right, this is the new Horvath home. We have about five or six months more left to go. But we'll walk through the entire house, describing everything. Driveway. Won't be done for months. So, that's the master bedroom on the other side of that. There's the office on the other side of that. There'll be, this will be a large wall with black stucco. Plants on the top. Two car garage. Here's the front entrance. There's an eight foot door here. Curved like the back window. Your view from when you first walk in is all lake and trees. Some of those trees are being cut back so you can see more lake. There's the fireplace. There'll be two barn doors here opening into the office. The office will have a view of the front yard. Then the great room, 17 foot ceiling. These are according doors, so they open completely so that it's indoor, outdoor. We have motorized screens out on the deck here with a view of the lake, obviously, and the dock. Over here we have the kitchen. So we have the ovens and the fridge over here. There's a huge island that goes here, 10 feet. The back has the stove. And then we have a 12 foot tall arched tile ceiling that goes all the way down the length of the house from the kitchen through to the dining room. Dining room is here overlooking the lake. There's a nook here for three wine cellars for white wine. You'll see the red wine downstairs. And the door out to the patio if you're not using the accordion doors. And of course the view out to the lake. They're cutting down five of these trees so we have a clearer view of the lake. So this will actually be pure lake in a couple of months. And there's the dock down there. So coming across, this is Maryland's pantry. This is a hidden door pantry. You come through here and then there's upper floating shelves, lower pullout shelves, two fridges, and a wood countertop that goes all the way around the entire pantry. This is the laundry room and the mud room. So washer and dryer, sink. Sink is here overlooking the window. Then a little um, mudroom area for hanging up your jackets and putting your shoes another closet here and then out to my shop so this is all going to be shop from ceiling to floor with workbench and pull out drawers and you come here toolbox goes here and then a two car garage which we'll be putting a lift in on the other side and there you can see some of the boxed beams that are going downstairs waiting for them to finish so those will be staying to dark color when they go in. They're natural right now. And now we'll go down over to the master bedroom, which is across the great room on the other side. See the fireplace there. And the entrance to the master is here next to the stairs. There's my beautiful wife. So we have a little nook here. I think we'll be putting plants. It has a big, huge window out looking over the forest. This is the actual bathroom area, double vanity, double mirror, three wall sconces and down lighting from the top, vaulted ceiling, huge windows. There's a tub that goes in right here with shelving that goes up either side. This is the shower. So body jets, rain shower, wand all self-controlled fully tiled out with the bench in the back this is the water closet and we come here there's a pantry closet or i mean a, the linen closet and then Marilyn's closet on the right and my closet on the left and then the master bedroom so the bed will be going up against here with a view of all the windows, all motorized blinds, 
Two of the windows look out over the forest, which won't be built on, and the other three windows look out over the lake. So you can see there's the end of the thing, and there's our dock over there. And again, that'll be cleared out over the dock so that we can see down the lake. Now we'll go downstairs. So the stairs are going to be floating stairs, solid oak uh, steps that are built into the side. Everything will be completely see-through, no risers. This is all going to be wire black with uh, wire railing, hand railings. You come down into the rec room and here there's uh, my bar, which you can see they've laid out on the ground, counter there with the sink and the fridge and everything in the behind it and then shelving up top then there's the red wine cellar here which is all stone with a glass front and then fireplace bottom half is all stone top is shiplap then we have a feature ceiling with three boxed beams and shiplap in between painted and there's two bedrooms down here in a media room so here's the one bedroom that Marilyn calls Emily's room it has a beautiful view of the lake as well, and there's the deck is outside of here. So that's the main deck downstairs. There'll be a swing here at the end of the deck, and you have a view of the lake, obviously. Mm -hmm. The railing here is all black with uh, the stainless wire that goes across. This has its own ensuite with a separate bathroom and a walk-in closet. And then when we go across from this bedroom, you go into the media room. So this is the media room. Um, there's going to be some HVAC and other things that are being put here. There's going to a wall that's going to go across. They sort of drawn the line there. And then there'll be a couch, a large couch with a chase recliner piece that goes here and a 110 inch drop down screen that goes there and the projector that goes up here. Then we'll go across to the game room. So again, the bar is here with the wine cellar and you've got a circular couch here that goes facing towards the fireplace. And then of course the two French doors that go out onto the deck and then there's a seating area on the deck there. And then to the left, we have the game room. There's a pool table going right here, poker table going there, dark board over here. And then you have the lake room. This lake room was built purely just to have storage. So the canoes and the furniture over the winter, there's double doors here that go out onto the patio. And then that's the walkway down to the lake right there, which obviously has not been built yet. And then we'll go over to what Marilyn talks about. Jake's room, which is slightly larger than Emily's room, but it doesn't have its own private ensuite. It does have a quite a large closet and a spectacular view of the lake and again those trees will be cleared out so you have a clean view of the lake and then again a large closet and then this has the shared bathroom right outside of it which is next to the game room and the bar and the rec room full shower sink double sink and that's the house and of course when you come out onto the patio here upstairs is screened in this is not so it's open view to the lake um, with sitting furniture and a little fire pit. And that's the tour.